The point is that you are, and as you could see, everybody is, in the science, in the field of science. We know that from Kuhn, right? That science happens in networks. And if you're outside this network, it's very hard to get into the network. So there's a group of people doing research on field X. And they're, every time there's a conference, they're talking to each other, right? And they're like together. And you come in and they're like, who are you? Get out of here. I don't know you. <laughs> Never seen your face before, right? And they, they talk about each other's papers. And they, and they publish each other because they're very influential. And they're senior editors or editors of journals, right? So they're, they know each other. And you are all newcomers. You come into a new party. There's a party with groups of people in this party. And then you know the party analogy, right? What do you have to do to get to be part of this party? You can come into the party, but you feel lonely, right? You're just having a drink by yourself. They're already in groups. They're usually a bunch of older people. What do you have to do? Communicate. You have to do, first and foremost, before you communicate, you have to do what? You heard the story already. Drink a beer. <laughs> and, then, and then do what? That's you go into a group of people, and they're having a conversation. What do you do? You got your drink in your hand. Try well, to appreciate them. That you appreciate them? Like they're talking. What are you going to do? Start buttering? Terrible idea. Ladies and gentlemen, you're in a party, OK? You're just in a party. This is a party right now. Groups of people talking to each other. And you don't know us. And we're talking. You're coming in. What do you do? To introduce uh, myself and show I have something attractive. No. Normally, <laughs> <laughs> I, I would stay and I would wait if they, they took uh, pay attention on me. So, uh, hello? You listen. You listen. Okay. You listen to what they're saying. You can learn something. You don't learn when you talk. By the way, what is this listening in a journal or in an academic community means? How does this listening happen? Before you say something, before you start buttering them, there are a bunch of friends talking to each other, and there's some strange guy from Italy, <laughs> India, coming in saying, hey, hello guys, you're the such wonderful scholars I've been always waiting to talk to. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see we're having to be here like... Uh, <laughs> you know? You listen, right? Now, the listening part, if you think about the listening, what it means in journal's point of view, it's reading. You read. You read their work. And then, after you listen in a party, then you could say, oh, you're working on uh, Belt and Road? You know, I am doing a paper on it now. That's very interesting. Tell me what you're working on. Oh, you're working this? Oh, yeah, me too. After you listen, you talk. You don't talk before you listen, right? Same thing with papers, right? You read, you summarize, you understand, and then you build on the, on the shoulders of the giants in the field. You're coming in as the little guy. You've got to build on them. You've got to listen. You've got to read. So I can't tell you how many times I get submissions in my journal where people have not cited, which means they have not read any paper in my journal. They're not part of the party. They're coming to talk. They're introducing their ideas without listening to the ideas that are being discussed. They say, oh, my, hello, my name is Richard, and I have something to say. Well, thank you. We didn't ask you, you know? <laughs> you know, you're not talking to us. You're talking to yourself. You know, that's the point.